Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Super Nintendo World as the Universal Parks and Resorts Chairman and CEO Tom Williams recently spoke with Bank of America Merrill Lynch in order to talk about the park. And he revealed some major new details, including the fact that the first park in Japan is set to open next spring. And there will be two rides at the beginning, one based on Mario Kart and one based on Yoshi. In this interview, he says it's a whole new separate area of the park. It's got food, it's got merchandise. The first phase will have two rides, Super Mario Kart Ride, as well as Yoshi's Adventures. The whole land is interactive and you are going to have a wristband that's got the big red Mario symbol on it. By the way, the wristband is super cool. It's all magnetic. You slap it at your wrist and it just snaps on and it won't come off. And that allows you to, on an interactive basis throughout the entire land, which is built on three different levels. It's got all the popular Bowser's deal and Princess Peach's castle and all the different key elements. And you'll be able to go up and keep score and play with the various games. And that also translates to a score keeping capability if you choose to do so within the rides and it actually interfaces back with your game console. So you can build on it and come back again and really got everything going for it. It's a little weirdly transcribed, but the basic idea is that there's going to be a new wristband that you get when you enter the park, and the things you do there will earn you points, and somehow be able to interact with your game console at home. What that exactly means, we're not exactly sure, but it does give us a better idea of what we can expect from Super Nintendo World, including the restaurants, the merchandise, the fact that we can explore Peach's Castle, and even have Bowser in there in some capacity. All of which we've seen, but it's nice to have confirmation. And while Tom Williams didn't want to commit to a time frame to bring it to the United States, he reconfirmed that it is coming. So yeah, by spring of next year, we'll have Super Nintendo World open in Japan right before the Olympics, and that'll be really cool. Whether or not we get to check it out is something left up in the air, but nonetheless, it's cool to see the park coming together. But what do you guys think about all this? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Nintendo and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.